Distraction turned deadly for a man who fell off a cliff in San Diego on Christmas Day. He'd been staring at his phone or camera completely unaware of the looming danger. As Chris Van Cleve reports, this type of thing happens all the time. Investigators believe Joshua Burwell may have been trying to take a picture of the sunset when he made the deadly 40-foot fall. San Diego lifeguard Sergeant Bill Bender. He wasn't watching where he was walking, looking more down at the device. Research shows so-called distracted walking, especially from handheld devices like cell phones, is a growing problem. The number of ER visits for related injuries, most often due to falling, doubled between 2005 and 2010 to more than 1,500, with millennials ages 21 to 25 the most likely to get hurt. It's important to recognize this as a problem. I Orthopedic a surgeon Dr. Claudette Lejean believes the true number of injuries is even higher. When they come into my office, for instance, they'll have an injury and they'll say they tripped over the curb, but they'll never admit that they were looking down at their phone instead of looking in front of them. Mall security cameras captured this woman who was so focused on her cell phone, she walked into a fountain. This man, talking on his cell phone, fell right off the train platform. We spotted Jordan Benston video chatting while crossing a busy New York street. I know I shouldn't, but I still do it. Kelly Davis was working away on her phone as she walked to lunch. Kelly, have you ever had a moment where you've walked into something or fallen or? Oh, absolutely. I've walked into um, one of the very short, like, light posts. She may not be surprised by the findings of a 2014 study that estimated nearly 10% of all pedestrian injuries are due to distraction. Jim, I know it sounds obvious, but if you're looking down at your phone, you may not see an obstacle that's right in front of you in time. Chris, thank you.